Welcome to the 100 coding challenges for beginners in C Sharp. In this series, we'll be doing 100 coding challenges in varying difficulty. The idea is to cover a range of areas to help you build a good foundation and understanding of key programming skills. Here's an overview in order of the topics we'll be covering. We will be beginning with programming basics, um, and then we will move on to um, selection. Don't worry if none of these make sense to you at the moment. If you're an absolute beginner, um, they will do as we go through this series. Um, we'll also be going through operators, loops, arrays, standard algorithms, functions, file management, structures and records, validation, variable roles, and in the end, we'll have a, a little bonus round for those of you who want to challenge yourself even further. So the first thing that's, that we're going to do is set up. And in order to set up our environment, we're going to be using an IDE. An IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, which is generally what developers use to write code. It comes with a range of functionality, one of which will be being able to run or compile your code. You can also think of this as the text editor, text editor for your code. I'll leave this link in the description box if any of you want to go straight there and click it. You will see that it looks like this. All you have to do is click download Visual Studio and it should start the quick download process. Once that's downloaded, you can go ahead and run that on your computer. Select yes. It will do some more downloading and installing. Once that's done, you should see a window that looks a little bit like this. Um, now, I've already got Visual Studio installed, um, but you will, it will be taking you through this exact same process. Uh, you can see that this application actually has a vast amount of things that I can do. Um, you don't need to worry about any of these at the moment. The only one that you're going to want to install is this one here, .NET Desktop Development. So if you click that and um, this button will say install or download for you and go through that um, installation process, you should be good to go. The next thing you're going to want to do is set up a folder to store all of your challenges. Um, you don't have to do this, but I like to do this to keep things uh, nice and clean. So what I'm going to be doing is creating a new folder in my D drive. I'm going to call this uh, challenges C sharp. You don't have to actually create this in your D drive. You can create this anywhere you like, whether it's in your C drive or your desktop, whatever suits you. This is the folder that I'm going to use to create all of the um, challenges that we're going to be doing throughout this series. The last thing we'll be covering in this video is creating a project. Um, so we'll just open up Visual Studio and I'll show you how to do that. So go ahead and start Visual Studio. I'm just going to click on it to get it um, started. Once it loads up, it should look something like this. Uh, we're going to create a new project. Um, throughout the series, we're going to be making a type of program called a console application, which is typically one of the easiest kind of applications that you can create. Um, we'll touch more on what that looks like in a second. So if you go ahead and click console app here and click next, we're going to want to give this a project name. So our the first episode of this series is actually going to be Hello World. And if we choose the folder that uh, we just created, then um, we can put it. We can save it in here. Then go ahead and click Create. Once it loads up, it should look something like this. Um, don't worry too much about what any of these mean for the moment. If you don't know already, um, we'll cover that in a later episode. Everything we include within this section here is what this program is going to run. And the way we run the program is by clicking um, on the play button up here. And if you see, if I click this, 
it will open up a dialog that looks like this and this is essentially what a console application is um, throughout the series we'll be doing um, inputting and outputting values from the console so we'll be able to see our code actually executing and um, outputting things within this console So this is all you need to set up for writing your first program. If you're interested in following this series, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The link for the first episode will be in the description. And I look forward to seeing all of you there.